Well, hello everyone and welcome to the Farmington Public Schools May Spotlight. I'm very excited to have some folks with me today to celebrate our incredible custodial program that we have here in the district. I have with me uh, Mr. Harold Mack, who's at Gill Elementary, longtime custodian in the district. And then from ABM, we have Ramon Hawkins, as well as Daniela Nistor. So here in Farmington, we have a really unique program. Um, we have a kind of a hybrid custodial program where we have kind of our day leads uh, during the day um, for Farmington Public Schools. And then we contract with a great company, ABM, for our evening custodial, as well as some special event planning. And so we wanted to just learn a little bit about the custodial job, um, the duties that you have, as well as some other things that uh, sometimes people don't think about when you think about, uh, you know, custodial services. So um, let me start with with Harold, if you can just share with us um, roughly how long have you been with the district and have you always been at Gill or have you been at other schools? Uh, I know you've been a longtime Farmington uh, employee with us. Yes, uh, actually Gill is uh, probably one of the schools that I learned to develop a whole lot of character with uh, maintaining the school because of the unity, which is uh, which is unique itself. Uh, I've been with Gill for a little over two years now, and I came out of another district to this one. I was just thankful to have the opportunity to come out here and work. Absolutely. Well, you can tell the enormous amount of pride that you have, uh, you know, in, in Gill, both inside and outside of the school. It looks beautiful every time we're there. Um, and you talk about the connection with the kids. Um, uh, you know, earlier on, uh, you you had taken a little uh, leave and you came back uh, to just the excitement of all the kids who wanted to, you know, wonder where's Mr. Mac, where's Mr. Mac, and kind of, you know, rallied around you and were, were cheering and clapping when you came back. And so it's that kind of love and connection with the kids that um, makes it more than a job. Is that, that true? Yes. And if I may say this, uh, let truth be told, I've been attempted to retire the last two years. Okay. But let truth be told, the kids, the teachers, the administration, and the principal is the main reason why I haven't retired. Well, that's a that's huge a, endorsement. The district. That's the bottom line. I'm just yeah. putting, I'm putting yeah. mine all on the table. Appreciate that, Harold. That's a huge endorsement. And we're, yeah. we're happy to have you. We'll, we'll keep you as long as you want to stay. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's talk to Ramon and Danielle a little bit. So, uh, you know, ABM helps do kind of primarily our evening shifts as well as some special events. So can you talk a little bit about um, ABM and the services that you offer and kind of your experience, uh, you know, working here in, in Farmington Public Schools? So good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you for the opportunity. We are very proud of uh, serving Farmington Public School. We have a great experience here. We are very excited. Uh, Ramon is going to give you some information about ABM. We are a proud ABM Fortune 500 company. We are, we are our mission, vision, and purpose is here to take care of your spaces, which are uh, indirectly education uh, involvement. Because sure. as we always say, uh, well, you know what? You can provide the best education in the best spaces. So it's very important that I keep telling my people all the time, what you do, it's very important. Yes. Don't take it. It's extraordinarily important because you see how much value you bring every day, every single school, in every single classrooms. Because if you or he or she is not here today, there is going to be a big difference in, in this uh, uh, school. And everybody your work, it's noticeable. They are seeing you, they are appreciate you, or if we don't do it, which is never going to happen under <laughs> my leadership, okay? Right. <laughs> That's right. my big picture, okay? Because we serve right. the entire of, uh, district, 19 buildings, we are staff for 51 employees, we are fully staff, our results, and I let the results speak for ourselves. And you know, collectively with all of our day leads, uh, like Harold and others, as well as our evening uh, and, and after school event, ABM uh, contracted services, you uh, oversee hundreds of thousands of square feet of uh, inside and outside grounds and, and the rest. And so we really appreciate, um, you know, that work. Um, Ramon, what can you tell us a little bit about uh, ABM and your experience working in Farmington Public Schools? Uh, first of all, I would like to say good morning. Uh, Superintendent Christopher Delgado. This is, a, this is a good honor and a privilege to be uh, interviewed and in the spotlight. Appreciate uh, that. Likewise. 
It's good um, to have you here. Right. ABM is a good company. Uh, I've been working for the company now for about 26 months. Daniela is very professional. Uh, I've learned a lot. I just simply enjoy to clean. Mm -hmm. um, I would say uh, the three keys in, in doing my job and being successful is number one, 100% accurate, 100% complete, and 100% quick. Uh, I sweep, I mop, I clean. Uh, <clears throat> I like the job. It pays a good wage. Uh, I work for Warner, and everyone here is professional, nice, and jovial. It's just a pleasant place to be, and I'm glad to be here, and I want to thank you for this opportunity. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, thank you. Uh, sure. One of the questions I wanted to, to pose, maybe we can go to Harold and then come back to uh, Ramon, is um, the aspect of safety. So a lot of people don't um, necessarily associate, you know, just, um, you know, just cleanliness generally with safety, but if anybody had to deal with um, challenges with safety, it was our custodial crews, especially during COVID. So can you talk a little bit about the importance of kind of um, safety and cleanliness and kind of uh, preventing the spread of disease, um, any new products that you're using or just um, how intense that was? Because because really we relied heavily on you yeah. through COVID and then every day, you know, since. So maybe we can start with Harold and then, then pivot to Ramon. Yeah, I tell you, that was uh, two and a half years of uh, scrutiny. We mm -hmm. had to be focused mm -hmm. on detail cleaning. Uh, security of the building was absolutely necessary. Yeah. Uh, we had the bacteria, well, we had to create a system to stop and slow down infection. We uh, secured the doors every morning between 8.35, 8.45 to 9 o'clock. There was three different time slots. Right. I would check the doors. And then uh, we were prepared for whatever was coming because the virus was uh, up, low, down, high. Right. We just got sick. Kids got sick, we got sick, administration got sick, principals got sick. I mean, it was it was uh, a difficult time. We're kind of out of the water, so to speak, but we're still on land with it. Right. It's still here. And we are careful. We're still detail cleaning a lot, spraying. We got different types of chemicals we use. And, uh, the most the most safety thing you could use is gloves, mm -hmm. but it's been work. I I think we all can say we all endured, and I want to say something about. Just I want to pay homage to ABM. Mm -hmm. uh, I know Ramon. I know what Ramon about too, and what he says he's exactly that. That I know for a fact, mm -hmm. and I know other people tell me about. His work ethic. So I understand that and I like that. And I want to say that from the district, I'm one of them guys that I, I want to work with everybody. And I honor and respect what they do because if they weren't doing what they was doing, our job would be 60% more harder to complete. That's yes. I, I I really appreciate you saying that, Harold, because you know what you come into in the morning is dependent on what ABM does in the evening. So, yes. so thank yes. you for that, and and thank you. I can say on behalf of everybody, thank you all for keeping us safe and keeping things uh, as hygienic as possible through COVID and then every day. So, yes. uh, Ramon, let's give you uh, the the last word here. Uh, you know, if you can just share, um, you know, from from your standpoint. Are there any kind of improvements to the technology? Have you seen, uh, you know, I know that we have different, um, you know, kind of a, a classroom, you know, uh, deep cleaning mechanisms or the ultraviolet light, some of those kind of things. So um, in the industry, what have you seen in terms of changes technologically? Okay, well, <clears throat> uh, I want to thank Harold Mack for those compliments. Uh, you're a good man. Thank you so much. Uh, I would just like to say uh, the first case of, COVID came out in 2020, I believe. So it's been four years and it was very difficult. Uh, <clears throat> I use my gloves. I change my gloves several times a day. I wash my hands. Uh, we have disinfectant cleaners. Uh, I use clean rags. As you can see, I have a mask right here, you know, to protect myself. Uh, <clears throat> I would just say, uh, basically, look at what you're doing. 
organization, mm-hmm. paying attention, attention to details, uh, dusting, vacuuming, extra cleaning, every classroom, uh, <clears throat> checking the bathrooms every half an hour, mm-hmm. restocking, uh, <clears throat> spraying, uh, cleaning the toilets, which I do enjoy, uh, just paying extra detail and going the extra mile, if I may say, to get the job done. Uh, <clears throat> in my neighborhood, we say, uh, what, uh, you have to finish the race. You have to cross the finish line. Yeah. Okay. 99 and a half won't get it. You got to go the extra mile and complete the mat, complete the race and do the 100. Yeah. So there you go. Extra mile. And, uh, I complete the race and, uh, I'm just happy to be here, and I just thank God for the opportunity and uh, clean, clean, clean cleanliness. (laughs) Well, great, great way to wrap wrap that up. We want to protect our uh, our uh, uh, students, uh, staff, and everybody. We also want to protect ourselves too. So there are two reasons why we are using the PPE. It's a cross contamination elimination, protect our employees, and protect our. Well, what, very well said and excellent. Well, I, I know that anybody who's watching this is going to feel really, I, I hope they feel the same thing I do, is, is really two things. Number one, really very reassured that we have the cleanest, most uh, safe, sanitized yeah. um, uh, you know, areas in, 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 in the district. Um, and then number two, we can see the commitment and the passion that you have for not just a job, but for your profession. So um, on behalf of the school district, I want to thank you for all that you do for our children, for our families, for our staff, and uh, appreciate you being the Farmington Public Schools May Spotlight. And on behalf of ABM, we appreciate you too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Have a good one now. See you soon.